Okay, so this is a typical question that you will find um, in the book. Um, and they're called mixture word problems. So most of the questions in this practice set can be answered the same way. Okay, you'll find them on page 322 of the book. Page 322. So let's take a look really quick. Um, here it says that a metal alloy weighing 9 pounds and containing 75% copper is melted and mixed with 11 pounds of a different alloy which contains 15% copper. So we have two different alloys or two different metals. One of them is 9 pounds and 75% of it is copper. The other is 11 pounds with 15% copper. Now the question asks, what percent of the resulting alloy when I add this one and that one together is copper? What percent of the resulting alloy is copper? Now what I need to do okay, is very simple. I'm going to always do the same thing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find how much copper there is in the first alloy. So we know that 75% of the first alloy is copper. So 75% of 9 pounds because the first alloy is 9 pounds. So first thing I need to do is find how much 75% of 9 pounds is. Now 75% can be written as 75 over 100 or 3 over 4, 3 fourths. 3 quarters is 75% times 9 equals. Now, you have to, two ways to do this without a calculator, of course. Number one is to multiply 9 times 3 is 27, and then use long division to do 27 divided by 4. Or you can think of it this way. Now, 3 over 4 times 9 is the same as saying 3 times 1 over 4 times 9. So 3 quarters of 9. 3 times a quarter times 9. Now what's a quarter of 9? A quarter of 9? The quarter of 8 is 2. And 8 plus 1 is 9. So what's a quarter of 1? 0 0.25. So a quarter of 9 is 2 and a quarter. 2.25. Okay, now check. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 0 0.25 is 1, 8 plus 1 is 9, so that's right, times 3. Because here there's 3, so 3 times 2 and a quarter, which is 6.75. So the first alloy has 6.75 pounds of copper. Okay, Cu is the symbol for copper. Now we do the same thing for the second alloy. Here, let's change the color. The second alloy has um, is 11 pounds and has 15% copper. So we do 15% of 11 pounds. How do we do this? 15 over 100, 15% times 11. Now, this is easy. How do we do 15 times 11 without a calculator? You can either multiply, just write them under each other and multiply, or you can think of it as 15 times 10 and then you're going to add another 15 because it's times 11. 15 times 10 is 150, plus 15, 165. So, 100, so 15 times 11 is 165. Divided by 100 means we need to move the decimal point twice or two places to the left. So we have 1.65 pounds. So what do we have? 1.65 pounds of copper. That's from the second alloy. Now what do I need to do? I need to add these two alloys, okay? Add the copper in these two alloys. The copper in the first one is 6.75 pounds. The copper in the second one is 1.65 pounds. So add them. What do you get? 6.75 plus 1.65 equals 8. 8.4 pounds of copper. So the total mixture now has 8.4 pounds of copper. Now what percent of the resulting alloy is copper? So we know that 8.4 pounds is copper divided by 
divided by what? Divided by the total weight of this alloy, which is the 9 pounds and the 11 pounds. So divided by 20 pounds, which is the total. This is how we're going to get the percentage. And then we do this number, this um, fraction or this decimal that we're going to get times 100 to get it into percent. 8.4 divided by 2 is 4.2. And then there's a 0, so it becomes 0 0.42. So it's 0 0.42 times 100, which is 42 percent. Now, every other question in this set can be solved the same way. Let me go over this really quickly one more time. Now, we have two alloys here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my highlighter. We have two alloys. One is 9 pounds in weight and has 75 percent copper. The other one, a different color, is 11 pounds and has 15 percent copper. Now, I want to know the percent of copper in the resulting alloy. Now, before we, we go into this one more time, okay, I'm going to be using um, a different color here. I'm going to use uh, black, okay? Now, before we go into this, the total alloy, the resulting alloy is 20 pounds. Why 20 pounds? The 9 pounds that we're going to put plus the 11 pounds. Now, what percentage of the 20 pounds is copper? We need to find the copper in the first alloy and the copper in the second alloy, add them together, and then divide that number over 20. So first thing we do is we get the 75% of the 9 pounds, okay, which is 75% copper of 9 pound alloy. 75% of 9 is 3 quarters times 9, which is 3 times a quarter times 9. A quarter of 9 is 2.25 times 3, 6.75. Then we get the amount of copper in the second alloy, which is 15% of 11 pounds. 15 over 100 times 11 equals 15 times 11 is 165 over 100 is 1.65 pounds. Now we know how much copper there is in alloy number one and we know how much copper there is in alloy number two. Now add them. You get 6.75 plus 1.65 equals 8.4 pounds of copper. Okay? Now what is this? This is how much copper there is in the new total big alloy. Now we take the 8.4 and we divide it by the total of the two alloys when we add them together, 9 and 11. So now we have an alloy which is 20 pounds, it weighs 20 pounds. Only 8.4 pounds of it is copper, the rest is something else. So how much percent is the copper? It's 8.4 over 20, then I multiply by 100 to get it in percent. So the answer becomes 0 0.42 times 100, so it's 42 percent.